Okay, guys, so I want to fill you in on what I know right now uh, as far as what happened yesterday. And um, I also want to speak on that Tower Demons video that she made uh, because something very important needs to be said about what she's doing. And uh, people need to stop looking the other way. That's all I have to say. Um, I've been a guinea pig out here for long enough. As Bob Larson said, um, it, it, it's time for me to have some peace in my life at this point. And um, that is what will happen. So, um, you all may not have caught this, but let me tell you just what one kind word can do to a person, how it can change a person's life. Let me just explain this to you in light of what this tarot demon is doing and the constant abuse that she's throwing at me. Um, this will stop. This will stop. Um, she's not my guru. She has never been my guru. She has no, uh, no reason to speak to me in any kind of abusive way whatsoever. And she absolutely had no right to ever start a smear campaign on me ever, ever. So, uh, what she is doing is textbook for a malignant narcissist. Um, she will abuse, and then when she gets called out, she will play the victim. So that video she put out is all about how I am abusing her. And then she talked about how the person that she was talking about, by the way, was um, Henri Jolacier. That she said uh, he, he wanted to have sex with her or her girls or something. And then uh, they wrote in the, the, uh, the cult forum about her. That's who it was. Um, she had a whole big thing. That, that was when she wrote that she was up there with Jesus Christ. Um, she had a whole big thing. She, she almost had a breakdown over that. That goes to show you how much she is not a realized being, okay? It was all over the in internet how people were talking about her reaction for like three hours straight. She was just making video after video. That is a typical PTSD response. You can't stop thinking about it. You ruminate over it. So you just talk about it constantly over and over. You say the same thing over and over and over again. That's what she did for three hours. Okay? And people will like lighten up the internet because, hey, I thought she was supposed to be a realized being. That doesn't seem very realized. Well, she's not a realized being. She has never been a realized being. Her inner space is not still. You people really need to wake up. You really need to wake up. Now, whether it was true that uh, people went to her and said, um, don't worry about me, don't go tit for tat with me, don't try to go back, with, go back on me just because I put one out, she's going to try to one-up me. Um, I don't know if anybody actually went to her and said that because she is a master manipulator, okay? When she started abusing Muji, she would make her uh, start her tarot readings off with, somebody asked me to do a reading on Muji, and no one had asked her to do a reading on Muji. She's a master manipulator. So whether people actually went to her and said these things, who knows? Who will ever know? Anyone that could make a smear campaign on somebody for seven years, they are pure evil. They are pure evil. The fact that she said that just the other day that my whole family got rid of me because of my behavior after knowing about the severe alienation that I went through, that if that doesn't tell you guys anything, I don't know if there's any hope for you people. I don't know. I only pray to God that none of you ever go through what I went through and then have an entire community attack you. But as I've told you over and over again, everything that happens will serve to glorify God. You see? And um, people can speak bad words to you. Um, it says no weapon shall be formed against you or used against you. And um, yeah, it doesn't mean a weapon, a weapon won't be made or tried to be used against you, but it will never succeed. You see, God will not let it succeed. And that's exactly what's happening with her. 
Um, and, and the fact is, everything I've ever said about her, I have backed up with evidence. And she has nowhere to go. So now this is why she's playing the victim. And do you people actually see that? And she's literally trying to put me down again, saying that my brain, my mind is on a hamster wheel. No, I don't. I don't have not one thought here. Not one thought. My mind is not on a hamster wheel. And I literally run circles around her. Understanding, internalizing, and teaching the Vedic scriptures and the Sargadatta's work and Ramana Maharishi's work. Yeah, absolutely. Why don't you ask her if she has any other books that she would like to read? Since she's such a spiritual teacher, why don't you ask her if she has any other books that she would like to read? No, you see, you know, she's not a spiritual teacher. She was never my guru. She has no right reason or, or any way to uh, try to teach me anything without me coming to her and asking her to teach me something. You see, that's how that works. That's how that works. A realized being will, will let the student learn their lessons, make their mistakes. When the student comes and asks for advice from the guru, the guru provides the, the advice. You see? Yeah, she thinks she's the guru for the whole world. That's the problem. The same exact thing that she just said is exactly the same thing she said while she was abusing Nithyananda for nine years. That it was her responsibility as a guru to break everybody's delusion on the internet so that they could see who he was. But yet, people really needed to see who she was. See, that was the truth. Because she is just like him. She is just like him. So here's what I want to tell you guys. You know, most of the people that find themselves on a spiritual path, um, we've had something horrible happen in our life, which is why we're looking for God. And um, we're vulnerable. We're very vulnerable. Nobody has a right to abuse you. I don't care what they call themselves. I don't care what they call themselves, what title they give themselves because it means absolutely nothing. They're a legend in their own minds. They're not a legend in my mind, that's for sure. So uh, no one has a right to abuse you. You see, she made the comment in that video that uh, some teachers are, are, are real soft teachers. She's not one of those teachers. She's a hard teacher. No, what she's telling you right now is to groom you this is a grooming technique that abusers use to let you know that she is going to abuse you and you better take it and you better like it if you want any chance of being enlightened. She's grooming you right now. You all need to leave. You all really need to leave. This is an, this is an abuser's tactic that you will never question her and that she can treat you any way she likes. You have to under, you, you guys, you really need to get on Sam Vaknin's webpage and start doing some research into the behaviors of the malignant borderlines, the type two psychopaths, uh, cult leaders, um, cluster B personality disordered individuals, you need to go and do your research because they all behave the same. They all behave the same. So no, she is not a realized being. She is an absolute abuser and she's grooming every last one of you right now so that you will never question her and you will allow her to abuse you and say, thank you, ma'am, may I have another? That's what she's doing. There is a way to speak to people. You know, when you say namaste and you say the divine in me recognizes and acknowledges the divine in you, that should mean something, especially to a so-called realized being. And with her, it doesn't. It gives her a license to abuse. 
She literally, a couple of years ago, told people not to ask her any spiritual questions, that they should just go on her other page and watch the videos. She's too busy playing with her tarot cards. And now today she's a spiritual teacher? Well, isn't that special? As she takes all of you to hell. So for all of you uh, trolls of hers that are on my page, watching what I put up for her, I'm going to be giving you plenty of information on Kundalini snake demons. So that if you didn't listen and you let her open up your Kundalini, you'll know exactly what you have slithering inside you. Okay? Yeah. Um, if you are... Uh, laughing and joking with her and supporting with her as she is abusing me. I want you to understand you will be held responsible in the spirit world. Whether you participated in it or not, you will be held responsible. You see what happens to these abusers when you finally nail them to the wall with the truth they 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 play the victim of the, they don't like being held accountable they don't like being held accountable but they don't mind hurting everyone in creation because it makes them feel powerful you know the truth of the matter is she has no self-esteem she doesn't like herself at all this is why she had to create that whole fake story about her being up there with Jesus Christ and the Buddha. She had to be the best at everything. This is why she tore down every other guru out here. She, only she was the best. And this is why she's tearing me down. She is massively jealous of me. See? Because she doesn't know who she is. She doesn't like who she is. And she has no self-esteem. It's why she makes herself look like uh, a Vegas showgirl, Vegas call girl, because being a normal woman in her 70s just isn't good enough for that one. No, no, no. It's all about that sex. That's what it's about. Okay. So um, after my uh, deliverance yesterday, I'm feeling very exhausted today. There's still something here. I'm going to have to go for another one. But I'm feeling much expanded today. My inner space is greatly expanded. So I got rid of a lot of stuff. And I want to tell you what Bob Larson did for me yesterday. I told you guys with all this stuff going on with these pastors, I knew the Lord had given me the gift of a vision, of spiritual vision. And I told you, man, he, there's no words for him, the amount of compassion that he has. And, uh, man, he displayed it fully last night. And I don't know if any of you caught it, if it meant anything to any of you, but I want to tell you what it meant to me. He was the first person in uh, eight years to just sit and speak to me like a human being and show me some compassion and say, you're a very strong person. You've been through so much and I'm sorry for what you've experienced. There's not one other person in eight years who has ever said that to me, who has even acknowledged me as a human being other than their punching bag. And um, there, was, there was a piece of my heart that was still broken. I'm joking up. There was a piece of my heart that was still broken. And um, Bob Larson healed that for me last night. He healed that for me last night. So I feel uh, greatly expanded today. Although I'm, I'm very tired, I feel like uh, somebody just beat me up. Um, something happened, something big shifted last night. And uh, you see, just those few little words can change a life. Words are very powerful. Words are very powerful. And so Bob Larson, uh, I don't even believe he understands what he did. Um, he helped to deliver me of some demons. And he healed whatever was still broken in my heart. And I, I will tell you, 
You know, we're, we're human beings. We, we're not meant to be alone. I have been totally alone for eight years now with nothing but people abusing me out here and nobody even speaking to me on this page. Um, the only way I was ever able to survive all of this was through Jesus Christ. So for anyone who doesn't believe that Jesus has always been with me, well, the proof is in the pudding. That's all I can say. Because no ordinary human being without Jesus would ever be able to survive what I've been through for the past eight years, especially with all of these abusers out here. And so I want you all to understand because many of us who are, who are on a spiritual path have been abused. And we will, we will take abuse from these so-called fake gurus. And don't you dare, don't you dare. There's a way to speak to people and you deserve to be spoken to with respect and treated like a human being. And uh, you know, it, it, it actually happened while I was studying with Nisar Gadada to understand that God, God resides within this form. And every time we say a bad word to ourselves, how must that hurt him? Uh, every, every time, every time someone abuses us and we cry and we hurt, how must that hurt him? We've got to be careful what we say to other people because you're speaking, God is in that person too. You, you've got to be careful of what you say to other people and you've got to be careful about what you say to yourself. And uh, it's unacceptable for anybody to be hurting anybody out on this internet. And the problem is it's gotten too comfortable for people to just say and do whatever they want. I, I still, I sit here still in shock how I was maliciously called a witch and a demon. Gang attacked. Why? with no regard for how I was being hurt. And uh, I'm, I'm still confused by it all. I'm still confused by it all. But uh, the only thing that I can say now is uh, there has been a big shift. Um, more of the Holy Spirit has come and um, I'm seeing things. I'm, I'm, I'm looking over everything and I'm getting the understanding of it. No one has a right to abuse you. No one does. And what that tarot demon is doing right now, she's grooming you to accept abuse from her. And you need to smarten up. Go on Sam Vaknin's page and learn the behaviors of these um, cluster B personality types, malignant borderlines, type 2 psychopaths, covert narcissists, cult leaders, um... What's the other one? Communal narcissists. These are the ones that go into religious positions. Okay. Um, you've got to do your homework. There's no getting around this. Otherwise, you will become another statistic, another abuse victim. You will never, ever reach your goal of being on your path and healing yourself and getting, and getting into the oneness with God. You, you'll never reach that goal. You've got to do the work and stop relying on abusers out here to beat you down so that they can use you as their stepping stool. So you have to understand the abusers techniques and their tactics. And she is grooming every last one of you right now so that you will never question her and you will accept whatever she throws at you. Wake up. Guys, have a blessed day.